Okay, now let's let's put things in perspective here. Okay, so we have a Bianca, Beyonce, motherfucking Knowles. Okay, granted, you know if if I were on the creative team for that, oh honey, we would have sent these. We would have sent these fucking old crowbacker, cracker ass gatekeepers into their grave with a fucked up sense of self-identity like i you no, know, we would have I, I would have destroyed them for her but what we're not gonna fucking do is give a bitch like charlie xcx who smoked her fucking voice away on 94 for what for fake ass friendships and her hair is still fucking frizzy she don't look like no puss she not gl- no we're not doing it and I remember back in my day when Pitchfork's voice mattered. Obviously, they're brought by Conda Nass, so they have to just kiss Conda ass. Um, back in the day, you know, there were music journalists that had integrity. Why isn't anyone telling Charlie XCX that she is a bootleg fucking electro queen? Like, she's like, she is like, it's like bootleg Luciana, bootleg Miss Kit, and it's like, it's bootleg and all these little producers that she's using like their dicks are too little to really like get it in you know what i'm saying nothing about this is spectacular okay now um and and this this is the fucking problem you know like with musicians in the big digital fucking room and this is and it's like charlie this is like you fucking yourself fucking over and you're like fucking it up and I, I, I got a problem with you, really. So now that musicians have to exist in, and, and we're, we're the least paid. Now we have to exist in this big fucking room with, like, some, like, dumbass little girl, like, doing some whack-ass dance because she can't fucking dance. But it's, like, really pedophilia that's driving, like, the success of all these TikTok stars. Like, come on. Addison Rae's a fucking child. She's a fucking child. She's a fucking child. That's pedophilia that's like driving this thing. But not in the good Britney way. Because you're Mexican. And you're not embracing your Mexican roots. You want to wash that away and you want to be a white girl. But you're never going to be a white girl. So you got to figure that out. Now, uh, Now, back to this thing, right? We're trying to exist in this big digital room, like, you know, trying to release your music. Here goes Donald Trump and his latest rant. And for as hard of a, as, for as hard as a fucking time as you give black female artists, the media, like, you know, oh, well, you know, maybe Ice Spice is the new Nicki Minaj. Maybe this is, yeah, I don't, I don't see y'all doing that to, to these very, 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 trashy white girls and i and i i genuinely don't think anyone at any of these music publications gives a fuck about these dumbass fucking friendships who gives a fuck you're marrying into a fucking like a a band like some poser ass fucking band Bitch, I grew up in the fucking time of LimeWire. What the fuck is a 1975? Bitch, get out of here. No, no. Make that bitch Charlie sing. Without auto-tune, without anything. Let's see, let's hear where her voice is. And now with the dexamethasone shot. Bitch, don't get the steroid shot. Let's hear it. Let's hear what cigarettes do. Like, have, like, have y'all seen the stupid ass video of her running through the fucking airport? Bitch, you cannot dance. And you look dumb as fuck. Yeah, I gotta stop comparing yourself to Britney. Because Britney, Britney got rhythm. Y'all are not, y'all not on the echelon. The music is not on the echelon. The, produ- the production is whack. I'm sorry, Hudmo, I love you down. But like, mm, nah. Jumanji's better. Like, you, like you, you, you better work with done with. Like, you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna stop calling her popular because she's not popular. She had to surround herself. Actually, she had to pay 
bitches who probably don't even really fucking like her to surround herself to make her look popular. Charlie's a very boring girl. She's a very boring girl. Very boring girl who has like fucking devoted her career to getting played by the gays. Like, cause, um, you know, they might come out to your shows, but you got, you be getting played. Like the fact that some gay boy had the audacity to walk up to you with his douche bulb because, you know, you dumbass don't know what it is and you had it in your hand, you're already a key. Stop trying to be cunt. You're not cunt, ma. Like, you really want to give it up like the Dawn Diva so bad. You want to be like the cunt, zoodle cunt, zoodle cunt, the super duper duper cunt. But you're not. You're not. Like, honestly, you, you need to be over there in the UK. You know what I'm saying? With that symphony, you need to get on your verve shit. That's the type of shit you're supposed to be doing. Like, you're supposed to be making history and all that other shit. But all this little, like, funny shit that you be doing behind the scenes, and yeah, I'm going to come for you. No, I'm going to come for you every fucking time. Every time. And when I see ya, I'm going to see ya. All right, so let's ask Slater. Slater, Slater, what, 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 what did you get from listening to Charlie XCX um, and not getting on Young Rapunzel? Like, oh, that, that little mixtape that or whatever little remix that she did and then dropped you. And now, how do you feel? See? The bitch is fake. Let's ask him Petrus. Him Petrus, okay? Kim Asave commissioned me to do a song for you. I personally don't even really like you. I never really liked your music. I don't think you're pretty. And it's it's not because you're trans, it's just because you're just not pretty. Um, I know a lot of really like phenomenal dolls. And you the language of your face is just not there. I did that song all for the strength of Dr. Luke. You know what I'm saying? Not because I fucking like you. And you got you you started feeling some type of way. You're like, oh yeah, I'm fucking on. And you you do this this remix with Charlie XCX, and then oh, she left you out of the girl circle. She left you out of the girl circle. She left you with Sam Smith to be called unholy. And then let's go back to the tour. Remember the the, the Charlie XCX Brooke Cupcake tour? How Char- Ooh, Char- Charlie was pretending like she didn't have the money to pay them. She did not pay. Okay, so let me tell you something. When you're a grown woman, right? And you are, um, or just when you're a grown person and you are becoming involved in a younger person's life artistically, woman to woman, you know what I'm saying? Even even if Cupcake ain't had no money, I would have pulled some strings and pulled some shit and made sure that she looked good. Because that's what you do as a woman. You, you, like, you, you, like, and I would have told her, no, put your titty away. But you're stupid ass. Like, yeah, you were like, oh, yeah, let her be like a black buffoon. Ha ha, let her show her titty on my stage for free. You know, it's funny. I, 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 I did this, like, uh, verse for Charlie XX, like, a long time ago when I was on um, tour of Fantasy. And at the time, you know, it, it, like, I, I just felt like it was, like, corny. Like, you know, like, oh, just add black rapper here. And it's like, no, bitch, I'm the queen. You're the sidekick. It will never be this way. You know what I'm saying? And you're, you're not, like, Gwen Stefani level. You're, you're, you're not, like, a Gwen Stefani to my Eve. You get what I mean? So we could never really rock out like that. I was listening to the, I was listening to the rest. I was like, oh, like this. This was my home girl at a certain point. Like I, I, like I, I really liked this girl. You know, I really, really fucking did. But you, you have, you have played with things that I had going, but for good reason. For good reason, you know, because now. Because now, like, after the fact, I find out Slater's a fucking, like, or just, like staunch racist. You know what I mean? Even though, sorry, Charlie, like, Sl- Slater makes the music that you, that you wish you made. Like, Slater sounds like what Charlie XCX thinks she sounds like. 
She really does. I will, like, let me tell you something. I will shit on a bitch, but if a bitch got some good ass music, I'ma pump it up. Slater got some fucking joints. And her batting average is way higher than yours. So, like, where, where are the music critics? Like, I don't understand why Slater is not, like, a huge star right now. What, what's going on? How much ass did how much ass did Charlie have to kiss to get here and be this mediocre? It's mediocre, and it's it's so funny to see like all y'all all, all, all the bitches like Charlie probably got some check from that fucking like Google AI thing whatever you know what I mean like she's splurging bitches is on her dick like they on her dick while out but y'all was the same bitches that was really that was calling her dirty before. Y'all was the same bitches that was shitting on her before. Y'all really was. Y'all really fucking were. And just to see how like many of y'all like it's like when is this gonna get a when is this gonna become about music again? You know, because like people gave me a hard time for it not being about music and it being about my opinions, but my opinions were always about music. Who give a fuck about this Judy Bloom ass babysitters club trash ass little fucking like like you know like white female drama what the fuck is this we don't care but i'm gonna end this statement with um brat the most unoriginal crappy shitty whack title like damn i, I like it and it's, it's, it's like i don't i don't even want to blame white girls for like just how corny that was Cause it, it ain't white bitches' fault that you corny, and you're not even you're not even all the way white. You Indian, you Indian, you Indian, and you want to be white, bad. And we're not gonna sit up here and act like Asian doll ain't been calling herself Asian the brat. She got the big brat ice piece, girl. It's not you, no. You know, a brat summer, it's just gonna be like a pack of cigarettes. Like, ew, white trash. Huh? That's not cunt. To have fucking decaying teeth and hot breath. You sucking your man dick with that fucking hot ass cigarette breath, ho? No. No, especially now when your fans are that young. Don't be promoting cigarettes. What's fucking wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you? And that's a thing. You like to do like shady shit because cause you're an ass kisser. You kiss ass. You like to do shady shit behind the scenes, whatever. But when it's time to show up and it's time to fucking work, you know, no. I, 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 I don't, I don't, I, I, I'm not interested in the version of you that you already are. It's the same thing with fucking happened with Grimes. You know what I'm saying? She's sitting there. She's singing out of her fucking throat. I'm like, sing with your diaphragm, girl. This is why you have no air. Like, no, this fairy shit is trash. Sing. And she got so mad. She got so fucking mad. She got so mad. Because she can't sing. So why, why, is, why, why are we calling her uh, anything other than a DJ? Because you, you, you know her ex-boyfriend made all them beats. Grimes ain't make them beats. I know a lot of girls from McGill. Now, if a black female artist told a story about how she locked herself in a closet with a meth pipe for nine days and made an album, do you really think that? Huh, do you do you, do you think that, that 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 black girl would get praise? And I'm sorry, Pitchfork and all these other things. Stop, like stop, stop with the bullshit white supremacy shit because Genesis is a trash song. Two and two is eating. Two and two is eating all of all these bitches' discography. They still can't beat it. All of them. These bitches is all still my son, son, sonnies. You feel me? So don't, don't, don't be doing this dumb shit. If, if it's going to be All Lives Matter and y'all going to post a black square and take a fucking day off from work, y'all better learn how to fucking listen what the fucking is. But furthermore, you really have to, like, think about the reason for, a, like, like a, a, an institution like Billboard to exist. 
Now, so when they're saying stuff to Beyonce like, oh, she's the first black female to Jada, I feel I feel like that's very fucking condescending because Billboard as an institution was really erected to siphon and, and like push all of these mediocre white women in front of extremely talented black artists make them number one you know it's like to rewrite history you know so i don't understand why so many black female artists are so obsessed with the approval or validation from an from an entity that was never meant to fucking celebrate you in the first place like pay attention to exactly what it is that you're wishing for you know and all all of that like hard like stuff that like you know it's like oh it's so hard it's like no it's it's it, it's hard because you're kissing ass and trying to like impress people who like honestly like if if all black musicians like really just kind of like walk away like they're only gonna have themselves to pick from <laughs> And they are going to die of boredom because they're fucking boring. They're fucking boring. Now, listen, okay? Miss Charlie, you've been playing, you've been playing around behind the scenes for a very long time, okay? And I'm a, I'm a roast you, I'm a rat you every time you make a fucking move. Now, when you when you get out of this like wannabe dumb blonde era, and you go back to the UK and you get on your verb and you get on your just a bit sweet symphony, yeah, bitch. That's what that's that's the type of time you're supposed to be on. You're supposed to be like the fucking like UK pride. Because here, you're like just a kiki. Like, you're a kiki for the gays. Like, yes, I'm my douche bulb. Sign my fucking douche bulb. Get into it. And it's like, really, like, you know, you, you felt some sort of way about collaborating with Iggy Azalea. Like, what the, what the, what, what are you doing? What the fuck is this attitude shit? What is that? Thirst. And somebody please explain to me why Iggy be playing, be paying Charlie X. Yes, that's, yeah, like, like what? That, that's one of the biggest songs in your career. Y'all don't hang out, y'all don't high five, y'all don't go to dinner, y'all don't nothing, y'all don't, mm, t- uh, nothing. Because it's something phony about you. It's, it, no, it's something very phony about you. And, I, and, but you know, it's like, it's the type of phony where it's like you hate yourself type of phony. That's why I'm so comfortable ragging on you about it. Because, you know, it's like, usually when a bitch say, oh, she phony, it sounds like, oh, no, you just pressed by her. But, like, it's just like, nah, damn, you really don't like yourself. You don't like yourself. You don't like who you are. Like, you you, you don't protect your voice. You don't, like, sheesh. You don't comb your hair, girl. Like, you just, man, I'm here. Raggedy. And you the type of like corny, phony bitch, like you gonna keep kissing ass, but you gonna kiss your ass all the way. You gonna, you gonna kiss a bunch of ass all the way to the middle. Yeah. Yeah, like it's like, girl, you, you're not getting, you're like, first of all, let me tell you, like, you, 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 you're not an LA girl. You're not an LA girl. You need to just go back to the UK and do your, do your little fucking frizzy game. Call David Bianchi back, because he had, he had the plan for you. He had the, even, even though I know a lot more about your own personal life than I should from David Bianchi. Call the nigga David Bianchi back and, like, get, get your life together, girl. Because this is terrible. This is, it's not even Gwen Stefani rap good. It's not Tina Marie rap good. This is horrible. And stop pretending like you're not Indian. I can't stand a bitch that be trying to act like they're they're not like ethnic. Like, girl, you Indian. 
if you was to tap into that market, girl, like, yes, do do your bittersweet symphony verb shit, then tap into like, what? But you but you want to be out here sniffing poppers with the fucking and signing douche bulbs and sniffing coke with the gays and we ho. In fucking possible. No, it's really another case of a wish is she were all the way white girl. I guess I don't I don't know what it is about her Indian heritage that she hates. Um, but this is this is another case of like yeah like l- listen to like all it's like fake knockoff Travis Scott music like she'd be like yeah 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 like trying to be urban and shit but like when when you're talking about girl power and you're having these conversations you seem to really only um and, and you're not even white you're not even fully white that's what I don't get like you be like going ham for these white girls and they don't go ham for you they do not go ham for you, sis. You're a brown elder!